Welcome to Chemistry Lover and here I am with another revision question for the CSI NEET exam June 2019. So I already made 4 or 5 different questions on interesting uh, interesting topics for the CSI NEET exam June 2019. If you didn't watch them, you can watch that videos by going through my channel. So let's start today's topic. So this is the question you can see and uh, the two important steps are there the first one is the allylic bromination as you can see this aibn is given along with uh, nbsn bromosarcinamide and the second step is the cyclization reaction which we will see now if the allylic bromination occurs in this particular molecule you will get this now there you shouldn't have any confusion whether the allylic bromination will take place on the same carbon atom or on different so you may think that uh, well this allylic bromination may take place on the same carbon to give cbr2 but this is not the case because i already discussed in one of my videos that allylic bromination will always take place, take place on two different carbon atoms if two different allylic positions are there because two reasons one is the statistical factor and second one is the stability of the radical after the formation of this so let's say the first allylic bromination happens here and then you have to form radical so if you consider this radical and this radical this radical is less stable this radical is more stable why this radical is less stable due to the minus i effect of uh, br because radical is already electron deficient species so the second radical will generate over here over here and it will give you this now from here you can see if you treat this compound with sodium hydroxide sodium hydroxide is not that much stronger base that it can generate negative charge over here so we can rule out product a and product b because so to make product a you need to deprotonate from here which will give you this minus and that will attack over here to give you this product and then elimination will give this product but sodium hydroxide is that not that much stronger to make negative charge now what sodium hydroxide can do is it can do sn2 reaction so if sodium hydroxide do sn2 reaction over here what it will make it will make this ch2oh or if the reaction happens over here then it will make the ch2h and it will be here so either the first uh, sodium hydroxide can attack take place over here or here and depending on that you will get either this or the another now if this oh attacks over here you will get this product or if the different uh, product were obtained like this one OH and bromine then also you would get the same product this but the problem is the confusion of this question is if this OH uh, forms here and you have this bromine over here then although this is a chance but there is another chance where this OH can attack over here so this is actually the aromatic ring so it can attack over here to eliminate this cl minus this is not actually the, this type of mechanism it will first uh, go through this and then when all this back this will go but here the problem is you can see this uh, type of reaction is not favorable because it is a one two three four this is a four member transition state and here it is one two three four five so it is a five member transition state and if you consider baldwin's rule also this represents uh four endo trig four endo trig which is not that much favorable, which is not favorable at all four endo trig is not favorable whereas it is a uh, five exotate five exotate is much more favorable and I will uh, if you don't get the point I would recommend you to watch my video on Baldwin's rule so 5 exotate is much more favorable than uh, 4 endotrig 4 endotrig is not favorable at all and that's why 
the reaction will follow this pathway so this product we can rule out and we have this option so option d is the correct option so i hope that you understood the concept this video should help you in your competitive exams thank you for watching